We're excited to bring you another edition of the Sub Club featuring Subhuman Gaucho. Sub, what plays are we cashing on? All right, so first match of match day seven here. We've got Liverpool traveling to Crystal Palace. Now, this Crystal Palace team, they're in big trouble. They've got some talent, yes, as a amazing player, but as they can't do it by himself. This team has struggled to win, winless in the English Premier League. And you know how I love to play Liverpool. Liverpool money line and the teaser under. Liverpool is 8-1 and one in their competitive matches this season. Six of those eight have seen three or fewer goals. Seven of those eight have seen four or fewer goals. So we go where we always go, Liverpool and the under. I had the mistake of going away from it last week and took the spread, thinking Liverpool might have a rare a chance to run up a score. They won 2-1. to one. They did what they always do. This Crystal Palace team, five of their six matches in this Premier League have gone under three or under, and all six have seen four or fewer goals. Everything lining up here for a Liverpool victory with a low score line. They get up early. They keep this team at arm length. Liverpool money line under four and a half minus 105. That's how we're getting paid. All right, so the first ever sub club parlay. Got a parlay for you here. Two games. First, we've got the Wolves traveling to the Brentford Bees, and we've got Man U traveling to Villa Park to take on Aston Villa. So, first game. This is a Sunday game here. Wolves at the Bees. Firstly, Brentford, they are undefeated at home. Wolves, winless in the league. I should give you a big indication of where we're going here. I like the Bees here quite a lot. They've been tough at home. This Wolves team, obviously, they are struggling. Dead last in the league. Collected just one point. The only thing that keeps me off the Brentford Bees as a money line play, and I wouldn't talk anybody off of it. It is plus money. Both of these teams are carrying a big injury load. And then on the other hand, Wolves have a pretty good head-to-head -head record against the bees so while i do think the bees win first leg of this parlay is going to be brentford plus a half a goal i think they can win but i trust them to not lose so that's the first leg second leg we've got my boys the red devils traveling to villa park to take on aston villa the big thing here is the momentum between these two teams and the coaching gap the coaching gap is huge. Umay Emery has been massive for Villa. This is his second year, and he's done great things. He's got them right there in the mix among the top of the league. And this is a team that runs on momentum. Last year, they played the two best teams in the league in the same week in Man City and Arsenal. They won both games. This week, they are coming off a midweek game against the Giants of Germany in Bayern Munich. They won that game. So you might think, is, is this possibly a letdown? I don't think so. As I said, I think this is a team that runs on momentum. And to go along with that, Man U played a game midweek too. They played a game a game later, and they struggled in that game. They had to really exert themselves just to come away with a 3-3 tie against Porto. So Aston Villa here, I think this is their time. I think they're going to finish top four. I think they're going to win this game, which they have struggled to do against Man U in the past. I think they're going to win this game, but I think at a minimum, they are not going to lose this game. So you take Brentford plus a half, combine that with Villa plus a half, you get a minus 125. I think that's a great way to get paid when you've got two teams that are very unlikely to lose. And quite frankly, both could win here. All right, final game for match day seven here in the English Premier League. And we're going to go to Brighton Hove Albion, where Tottenham are traveling to take on the home Brighton side. This game I'm looking forward to. It's going to include, in my opinion, an awful lot of goals. It is a high goal line, and it's high for a reason. 
I think if you're watching this one live, you look for your spots to take and over where goals are concerned. But I'm going to go back to the well here. Tottenham corners have been really good to us. And we've been riding two trends in a big way coming into this season. The first was Brighton at home against teams in the bottom 10. They tend to fly over their corners in those scenarios. The other trend that we like to ride, Brighton, when you can expect a possession edge, when Brighton has a possession edge of 10 or greater percent, they tend to fly over their team total corners. And those are two trends that have done us very well. In this case, they're on the road against a Brighton team that is pretty solid. They probably will be ranked in the top 10. But this Tottenham team flies over their corners regardless, it seems like, this year. And I think this is another good spot to take it. Brighton have had eight games this season. Only two times did they fail to fly over their team total corners. And when I say fly, I do mean fly. They have been averaging 9.33 team total corners a game this season. The two te- the two games in which they did go under was number one, Man U, who is, as I talked about before, we're looking to fade this weekend. The reason they went under in that Man U game is because they scored so many goals so quickly that they just sat back the rest of the game. The other game in which they failed to go under, or pardon me, failed to go over, was a Europa League game against Quarabag, where they got a red card in the first five minutes of the game, scored two goals in the first half, and then sat back the rest of the game. Like I said, this is going to be an offensive game. Brian has an extremely high line. So Tottenham, when they have the ball, is going to be able to generate corners. But when they get the ball, off of Brighton's errors, they're going to be able to go over the top. They're going to have their chances on the break, and they're going to be able to generate corners there as well. Tottenham team total corners, five and a half is plus money to the over. I think they're going to fly over this. I think this is a possible ladder opportunity, so we're going to make Tottenham team total corners over five and a half at plus 115 official. I love this play. It might be my favorite play of the weekend. There's sub giving us appreciate sub giving us the three EPL plays here. Um, as always, we're gonna roll into the live stream on Saturday for UFC and all sports as we talk about at uh we're gonna kick off at 6:15 p.m. Eastern. Thanks again, sub. Good luck.